Chapter 31 Plaque, 3, You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio The Elder Took in a Disciple The woman in the bamboo hat released her hand, which was holding the sword. As she looked at my face, I noted that her face was really beautiful. However, the atmosphere around her was terrifying. With her round eyes and long lashes, maybe this was how Miss Ha Yun would look when she lost weight. Were you surprised? The woman in the bamboo hat asked me. Perhaps she was trying to hide her eerie, exposed red eyes as she pressed down on her hat. It was better to not look at her. You should have told me earlier. I almost killed you. This woman is weird. No. She is strange. What she said didn't sound different from saying that I would be killed if I was just a trainee. I was about to tell you. Is that so? Looking at her face, it didn't seem like she was back to normal yet, but her voice was natural. Well, the elder raised his disciple well. Outwardly you look no different from the trainees. I think I knew why she said such a thing. It is said that a good master knows their opponent's skill to an extent. It is called key feel or key intuition. The South Heavenly Iron Sword told me it would be difficult for even the most distinguished master to realize my full capabilities as I used innate qi and not internal qi. You are good. What do you mean? Because you are the first among those around me to block my attack. She seemed proud of her skills. But I knew better. Even now, her attack was still making my stomach go weak. I didn't think a single attack would push me to the corner like this. Is the elder doing well? I haven't seen him at all in the past, just like the second blood star. She asked me about my teacher. In addition, she spoke of the second blood star. So this woman. Tack. And then someone appeared next to her. Miss Ha Yun. She glared at the woman with displeasure and said, didn't you say you were leaving? It felt different from yesterday. It didn't feel like she was angry, but it seemed like she hated this woman instead. And the woman said, I was. Anyone who sees this would discover that you are the master of the Six Blood Valley. Such blunt words. You know it won't go to that. Right. Right. Go quickly. I might not see you out. I can go on my own. Stop pushing me out. I am starting to get annoyed. The woman turned to the front. S.H. Miss Ha Yun's hands were stained red. The atmosphere suddenly turned violent, and I felt like I shouldn't be here. Had I known this would happen, I would have come a little later to do what I needed to do. You hear. The voice I heard from far away was quiet. The woman smiled at the voice of the great doctor. It felt like something terrible was happening. S.H. The woman in the bamboo hat held her sword and looked at me. Give my regards to your teacher. And let's meet again. Then, she raised the bamboo hat slightly and smiled with her red eyes. Something about that expression made her look more terrifying rather than happy that my previous owner told me to be careful of such a woman. Aren't the ones with red eyes usually gumihos, nine dot tailed fox? It's crazy because we were both talking about the same thing. I could still hear the woman's sword. I could feel it was in pain. The sword itself hated the woman, kill me. The sword was suffering. What did she make the sword do to make it suffer so much? The woman then turned around and stood in front of the group of bamboo hats. She waved her hand and shouted. The next time we see each other, let's fight. Then she leisurely took her people and left the place. It felt like a typhoon had just gone through here. When I met Hayak Dot Chun for the first time, I was surprised at his strength, but differently, this woman gave me goosebumps instead, what do we do? Do we need to handle her next time that we grind hard then? I had a headache. There was someone with a more troubled expression than me. It was Ha Yun, who was looking outside with a complicated expression. Should I call it bitterness and anger? Mississippi, she looked at me as I called out to her. Ah. Young master. 
Are you fine? Mississippi. Just now, she cuts off my words. The great doctor is looking for you. It was no different from saying don't ask about it. I had one guess, but this was beyond what I was capable of. Being Hei Ak. Chun's disciple didn't mean I had to know everything. In the main hall, it was just the great doctor and me. As I watched him, I wondered about something. Why did the red that eyed woman look for him? I s it because he has the best contacts in the world. Well, that was true. The quality of plaques he possessed was shocking. And as I struggled with my curiosity, he said to me, I heard that you are the elder's disciple, but you don't have a face which suits this place. Well, mine wasn't a face with evil intentions. Still, my family was well known. This face had also changed a lot after the suffering I went through in my past life. There were a couple situations. I guess so. What is a person without situations? Roll your sleeves up and show me your wrist. I extended my wrist for him to check the pulse. He touched my pulse with the index and middle finger when he reached out. Can the broken dantian be fixed? It doesn't matter if it isn't fixed, right? No, as Short Sword said, the Dantian is meaningless to me now. I was fine without the Dantian because I was honing my innate chi. But to avoid suspicion from Hei Ak. Chun, my Dantian had to be saved. Hmm, the great doctor, who was checking my condition, frowned. Was something wrong? When I looked at him, puzzled, he opened his eyes and said, Wonderful yet odd. Is something wrong? I hadn't been using any innate chi for him to feel, so his reaction made me anxious. Did he detect the innate chi within me through feeling my pulse? It cannot be. The innate chi is different from the internal chi. It cannot be observed from just a pulse. Is that something your former owner said? Yes. He trusted his former master a lot. I was looking at the great doctor with an anxious mind. He then gave me another order without answering my question. Take off your shirt. Shirt. I hesitated for a moment before I took off my shirt. When I took it off, I felt my blood flow quickly as my heart kept pounding. The great doctor, who was holding my hand, released his grip. Is there a problem? Did you eat the undersea plant? It was shocking. I hadn't even said anything, but he managed to guess from just feeling my pulse. He wasn't called the great doctor for nothing. How did you know? Looking at your pulse, I can see that you have more ice chi when compared to normal people. He was highly perceptive. Apart from that, the fact that there was ice chi still within me bothered me. I sat down and even cultivated right away, and I felt all the ice chi had been discharged from my body, but apparently that didn't seem to be the case. How did you end up eating it? I hesitated before answering. Would it be better, to tell the truth? I am a physician, a doctor. I do not speak about the condition of my patients to the others. He was reassuring me like I was a child. Hearing his voice, it felt like I should tell the truth after all. Wouldn't many people fall for such words and give their secrets? I was looking for the plant and ended up going behind the frozen waterfall. I told him what had happened there. The four dead eyed monster which suddenly bit my foot, the hot poison which spread in my body, and my attempt to stop it by eating the undersea plant. Did you say it had four purple eyes? Do you know of it? It is a rare experience to meet the human dot faced purple eyed snake. Is that a spirit beast? Since it looked rare, I wondered if it was. To that question, the great doctor shook his head. It is no spirit beast. Rather, it can be said to be closer to a monster or demonic spirit. A demonic spirit. I heard from a young age that the monstrous snake there craves human flesh. They say it hides in the dark and eats people. I was terrified. The bones of the humans I saw. If I didn't have my two swords with me, I would have been its next prey, ahem. Short sword made a triumphant snort. Right, I live thanks to you. 
But, the human dot faced purple eyed snake doesn't like bright things, so if you had a torch in hand, it wouldn't have come close to you. You were quite unlucky there. Ah. Uh. The snake and its purple eyes are too used to the darkness. That is why there is a verse in the old books which tells us to not put out fires in places where there might be the human dot faced purple eyed snake. Ha, I felt embarrassed. If only I had a torch, I wouldn't have encountered that thing. For some reason, seeing that there was no story about that snake in my previous life, the person who brought back the plant must have gone in with a torch. But thanks to that, I had grown a little. Anyway, that was the reason. Reason. Not only is there ice chi, but scorching heat within your veins. So I ask you again, what happened? Uh, is there poison chi inside? The great doctor shook his head. That is something I don't understand. You don't understand. The plant you ate is filled with yin energy and ice chi. It doesn't have the ability to detoxify a poison. But there is no poison within your body. This was good. If the ice and yang energy weren't enough, then the poison would have stayed, and I would have ended up a corpse. Is it because of the innate chi? There was a time when it naturally detoxifies the body. I don't know how the poison of the snake was taken down. But the problem is that there is still ice chi and yang energy in my body. Elder. If so, are the yang energy and ice chi fine? I mean, if it stays in the body, won't it be bad for me? Obviously, something will happen. Ah. Uh, that's if only one of them remains. What do you mean right now, the ice chi and the yang energy are balanced, so they are dissolved into your veins? It is no different from chi that you gain after taking a pill. Like the effects after taking a pill. Then, wasn't it a good thing? Then if I get my dantian treated, can I turn them into my chi? That is, if you can absorb and balance the two chi inside your body and dissolve it, then you will be able to build up your chi faster than others. But it will all depend on your efforts. I was happy about this good news. To be honest, I thought it was a little too late to build my skills even if my dantian was recovered, but now this changed everything. Maybe I can be better than just your average low dot grade warrior. Thank you, Elder. Feeling good, I got up and bowed down to him. Don't do that. I have done nothing yet. The great doctor stopped me and pulled something from his arm. It was a plaque with his name on it. Why? This is a plaque of mine. Take this. Ah. Uh. What is this? Since he was already treating my dantian, I didn't have to receive this anymore, so why? You don't have to give it to me as I will be getting treated. And then he said the most unexpected thing. How do I treat a healthy dantian? Chapter 32 Position Test 1. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. My mind went blank at the great doctor's words. They were words I thought I would never hear. My dantian was still damaged not long ago, so I was stunned at this news. I guess you didn't know. Well, that is why you asked for your dantian to be healed. My reaction must have seemed funny. He smiled, then he took his hand, put it on my abdominal muscles, and pushed. Clench. Why are you doing this? This is where the dantian is located. I don't know about you, but if you touch this place, there should be a weird feeling, like something is moving. Something moving. The pieces of a damaged dantian. Ah, it was said that even a broken dantian would have pieces remain. However, there is a small flow within, as if the embers were revived like a burning bonfire. It is quite rare. The dantian is reviving itself. You are saying my dantian has healed itself. For now, I can only guess. This was something I never expected. The dantian which didn't heal all my past life was now being healed after my rebirth, ah. I feel drunk, well, congratulations. One hui. Both of the swords like this. You said it was rare, so were there such cases like me. 
It is rare to be able to come across one like this. In the first place, if their dantian is broken, most people give up. So it is rare to see it healed. Even the great doctor hadn't come across such cases. Having said that, the great doctor placed the plaque on the table. I didn't treat you, so here is the plaque. Take it. He was honest. If all people were like him, the world would overflow with trust. Either way, I was lucky. In this case, I even got a plaque from the great doctor. Even if I had gotten two without being healed, I could have used one to get the dantian treated, can it be useful? Yes. The great doctor placed his plaque on the table. Putting it there meant I should take it, and I thanked him. What are you so thankful for? As he said that, he smiled. It would be the best thing if I had a good relationship with this man. After confirming the dantian inside me, I left the hall and returned to Hayak.chun. I requested the great doctor not to let others know about my dantian getting better. Recognizing my intention, he nodded. Fortunately, he wasn't the kind of man to speak about his patients. It is better for me to hide the truth because Hayak.chun might covet the plaque of the great doctor, but, how about your dantian? Short Sword asked, puzzled. I had a few guesses, what? Do you remember the cultivation I did in the waterfall? After the fangs pierced my foot, I performed cultivation, and my body felt clean. Within a short period of time, the chi in my body changed, and even my wound began to heal. I didn't realize that my dantian was also healed then. Oh. Right. That could be. If that is true, you should be thankful to the demonic spirit for doing that. Honestly, I was thankful. If he hadn't attacked, all of this wouldn't have happened, why aren't you talking? Dot Iron Sword said to Short Sword that a healed Dantian is definitely good. There is, however, a concern. Concern. Dot my former owner could only learn the cultivation method after he destroyed his Dantian. So. Can you do it now? Practice without internal damage. Ah, come to think of it, the cultivation technique I was taught worked with a broken dantian. I somewhat understand what the iron sword was saying. I was the same. Was it possible for innate chi and internal chi to coexist? I couldn't give a sure answer. I had no such skills. Hmm. That makes sense that I think it is better to be careful. One hui. If we try to hold everything in our hands, we might lose everything. Did your former owner also say that? Yes. As Iron Sword said, there was a need to be careful. There was no such thing as bad luck if one learned internal chi, and it then affected innate chi. However, if it didn't affect me, then it was different. I hoped for both to work together. Before long, I arrived at the cave where Hayak.chun was. Ah. Uh. But as I climbed the cliff, I heard a voice from inside. Please, Elder, give me strength, wait. The voice stopped as I climbed closer. All I heard was a moment of conversation. And then two people walked out. It was Hayak.chun and Miss Ha Yun. When did she get here? It was only her. The twins seemed to be training at the top of the peak, as I couldn't feel their presence. Then Hayak.chun said, I was wondering who it was, it was you. Why are you back this quick? Was there something wrong? He asked me one thing after another. It felt like he was deliberately changing the topic. Of course, no one would question him. And what could Miss Ha Yun's request for strength mean? It must have had something to do with what bloody hand which was attempting to ask Hayak.chun. Why is there no answer? No. The great doctor said I am fine. Everything is put into one line. Then the expression on Hayak.chun's face changed. Quahahaha. I see. If he has the name of the great doctor, he should be able to do that much. Congratulations, young master. Miss Ha Yun smiled. She seemed genuinely happy. Right. How long did he say it would take to recover perfectly? 
Still, I know it will take a while to cure it. I could never be careless with this old man, but I was ready to answer as I came prepared. When the great doctor performed the procedure, he said I should follow the method he showed for a fortnight, and it would be completely cured. A fortnight. Ha ha ha. Truly as expected of him. Fortunately, the old man didn't doubt it. Instead, he was satisfied that it took shorter than he must have thought. Looking back, maybe I had been too sensitive about this. Good. But right now, I am, talking with the miss, so go up and train. No, elder. Ha Yun shook her head and said. Since the young master has come, I will head down. No. You don't have to, it is fine. I already said everything I had to. She politely bowed and moved. Hey Ak. Chun frowned at that. She revealed her identity. I could tell by the change in Hey Ak. Chun's attitude. Not long ago, he was looking down at her. Now that she had revealed her identity, he was being careful. After all, was this all related to the red that eyed woman who came before? Please consider what I said. Huh, saying those, she bowed to me and then began to walk down. Her movements were as light as a feather. Her footwork was as excellent as Hei Ak. Chun's. Phew. Looking at her moving away, Hei Ak. Chun sighed. He seemed like someone who wouldn't worry about things, but seeing this, I was wrong. After her form completely vanished, he turned back and asked. How far did you hear? Ah. Uh. When I was confused, he asked with an annoyed face. Don't drag this out. Was he trying to find out how much I heard? But I heard nothing. Because he ended it and came out. I only heard what the teacher said and about giving strength, it wasn't that I couldn't lie, but I chose to tell the truth. I wondered what the reaction would be as Hei Ak. Chun sat on the cliff. This is annoying. It is bothering me. He looked over the mountain peaks covered in snow and mumbled. What was bothering you? Was it the request of Ha Yun or the granddaughter of the former cult leader? Hei Ak. Chun, who repeated the same thing again, sighed as he said. Did you see her in the main hall yard? Her, you mean the woman with red eyes? Red eyes. Ha, huh, you went that far. Hei Ak. Chun clicked his tongue. Seeing his unusual expression, was it possible that something had happened? He kept looking at the mountain and said. You are quite strange. What do you mean? Not just one, but you witnessed two. Two. At Hei Ak. Chun's words, I realized I was right. That red that eyed woman had something to do with the blood cult, after all. And she looked so much like Ha Yun. If I pretended to not know, this old man would kill me. What does it mean to see the two? Hei Ak. Chun didn't answer and mumbled. That woman is right. Maybe I need to make a choice. Now I understand. Hei Ak. Chun was thinking about who of the two women he had to support. No, looking at the way he spoke, he had no interest in it, but he seemed to be worried about something that Miss Ha Yun had said. Hei Ak. Chun, who looked troubled, said, Once upon a time, it was good enough to be called the best and strongest in the forces of evil. It, did he mean the blood cult? A relentlessly raging storm. I thought getting Kang Ho in our grasp wasn't a dream with him. But no matter how strong we were, if there were large powers and forces on the other side, we could be broken. It was the same with him. After going through so much, everything felt useless. A voice of despair. He showed a different side from his usual eccentric one. The other ones speak about how to revive the cult, saying it is a revival or revenge, but it all looks meaningless. Hei Ak. Chun got up and stood on the cliff as he continued to talk. So I put down everything and wandered around doing nothing. I'd rather finish things I couldn't in the past and live my life. He was talking about revenge against the South Heavenly Swordsman. I used to think of this old man as crazy, but he wasn't that. Now I know his story. But you know. 
I was going to live like that, but the seeds he left have grown like weeds and are ready to bloom. The flower blooming had to be the red that eyed woman. The last blood of the blood cult leader. These are the women who would play a vital role in the cult. S.H. Hey Ak. Chun strode to me. He looked sure as he looked at me and said. At a time like this, what would you do? Looking at him, he had come to a decision. I don't know why he was asking me despite already having clearly decided. I thought it was better to express my true intentions. If you are going to wait for the flowers to bloom, it is better to leave them as it is, as the teacher said. Otherwise, maybe prepare the manure to help the flowers bloom faster. Hearing that, Hei Ak. Chun frowned and then, prepare manure. Ha ha ha. He laughed out loud and then mumbled. Right. No matter which flower we choose, we must manure it right. It seemed like he hadn't chosen one yet. It meant that he probably liked both, as he said. I will have to raise all three. A simple statement that meant a lot. Unlike the other four venerable dignitaries or the seven blood stars, this monster was moving with the will of not raising his own position but developing his own power. If this happens, the history I knew about this ghastly monster will change. From now on, you will have a lot of work to do. Kulko. Work to do, with a smile, he said. There are still six months left. Turn into a leader in those months. Six months. Come to think of it, six months from now is when the trainees will be given their first official position after testing. Chapter 33 Position Test 2 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. All trainees will participate in the position test, which will be held in six months. In my previous life, I completed one year of training as a low dot level warrior and then took the test. As a third dot rate warrior with no skill, even among the other third dot rates, my position was the least glamorous. Of course, a few low dot level warriors later turned into middle dot rank warriors, but it was late. By then, you can be a leader. Leader. I felt confused. When I was losing it, he clenched his teeth as if trying to express it. You can do it. He exhaled that as if pondering over his words. It was clearly visible on his face what this man was up to by saying those words. That reaction showed that he was making fun of me. Do you think it will be that easy? The leader position is possible only for the high dot ranking warriors, all of whom were first dot rate warriors. That was the minimum condition. Song Chua dot Beck licked his lips and said, It isn't easy, but we have a teacher to help us, so there is no need to worry, right? Hyung, is right. I snorted at the twins' words. Apparently, since they got kidnapped by Hayak. Chun as soon as they entered the cult, they didn't know how things work, why? Aren't his words right? This is where your background helps you. Short Sword, too, agreed with them. If the blood cult maintained the same workings as before and was stable, the words of a high person would work. But now, it was in the middle of being revived. Since they were in a position where they had to strengthen their force, they would value skills over personal connections, you mean that without skills, we can throw away the dream of being a leader. There would also be the shame. On the contrary, the expectations of a disciple of Hei Ak. Chun would be high, so failing would instead lead to disgrace. If that happened, the crazy man would go mad. I didn't need to go through it to know what he'd do. You speak because you don't know. Teacher, no, elder treating you a disciple up here and the instructors evaluating you as a trainee down there are two different things. You'll make a fool of yourself if you go down there with those thoughts. How do you, few, know, how does Sion know that? Well, it's because I had been through it before. This was my second life, after all. Hmm, it isn't me, but that's what the teacher said. Of course, he didn't say it. Hey Ak. Chun only gave me the task of becoming a leader. But I had to speak about everything to ensure that these two also came to their senses. Ah, I almost forgot. 
He also told me to prepare myself if I don't receive a major position after six months. You know what that means. Song Chua. Beck's face went stiff at the word prepare. Since he had been through Hei Ak. Chun's lessons, he knew better than anyone. Yeah. Ah. If you don't want to be fucked up, get up. This was good. The twins went to train right away as if they were motivated. They also passed the message to me that they would start to train in earnest. Even for me, such a significant position was a wall I could never dream of overcoming in my previous life. I went to the cave where the remains of the South Heavenly Swordsman were located. There were no bones in the cave now. Still, he was the owner of Iron Sword, and he taught me swordsmanship, so I couldn't leave the bones alone. A tomb was built on the mountain's peak, higher than any place Hayak. Chun could easily see. Later, if there is a chance, I should move them to a sunny place and also make sure to build a monument for him, but Wonhui, where did that old man go in a hurry? Well. Hayak. Chun, who told me to tell the twins of his instructions, left in a hurry saying he had to go somewhere. He said it would be done within a week, but I couldn't figure out where he went. But, judging from Hayak. Chun's hasty temper, it had something to do with raising us three. BL.net He was fast. I don't know what will happen next. The ghastly monster. The Hayak. Chun I knew didn't have any force behind him, what do you know? I had no details about Hayak. Chun's life. But there was some information that I knew. Hayak. Chun acted independently contrary to what others of his level did. He was acquainted with one of the eight great warriors and lost his right arm to someone. That was six years from now, then, it could be different. It seemed like things had changed. By now, it has already changed a lot. I was supposed to just be a low-dot-level trainee. Still, this time I became a disciple of Hei Ak. Chun and somehow made important connections within the cult. It is already changing. Looking back on it, things have changed. Each change in my actions has changed the future. Come to think of it, if I hadn't become the disciple of Hei Ak. Chun, I wouldn't have met Miss Ha Yun. I am influencing it. It was a small change, but I don't know what the future would be like. It could lead to more significant changes. Then, I don't know if I have to consider all these new variables before acting on them. Only then will I be able to utilize the future I knew. Right now, I have to develop my strength in the shadow of Hei Ak. Chun. This was my chance now. Unable to escape, I was turned into a disciple. If Hei Ak. Chun created a force behind himself, I could be on top of it as his disciple. To do that, I need to become someone in a high position. Phew. The long-awaited time has arrived. I sat cross-legged and prepared to cultivate my chi. I was going to use a basic cultivation technique from my family, one I learned when I was a child. Then Iron Sword said. Be careful, one hui. It might not work well with the innate chi. Don't say such scary things right from the start. I knew he was worried for me, but saying this right from the start was too much. I inhaled and exhaled slowly and began to do what I was taught. I started by concentrating on the pit of my stomach, but it didn't feel easy. It is hard. It had been a long time since I had done this, so I couldn't recreate the same feeling. In addition, I was too used to the innate chi, so this felt different. So I then focused on my dantian. A little time had passed. My heart was calming down, and the area under my stomach gradually turned warmer. Then my dantian reacted. I feel it. For a moment, I became so happy that I lost my concentration. However, I made up my mind and challenged myself to cultivate once again. From here, this was the vital timing. If I do the So family's cultivation, the chi in my dantian will pass through the middle of my chest. Don't be so nervous. If the two chi weren't compatible, I would have to stop. Otherwise, I would have more to do. I moved the chi slowly. Be careful, careful, the weak chi in my dantian went up little by little and moved to the center of my chest. 
I was trembling due to being nervous. Please. Please do it. S.R. Ah. What is it, did the chi collide? Short sword and iron sword asked in a worried tone. At their question, I smiled. The internal chi had passed my dantian to the center of my chest. It was now in the middle part, and there were no problems. There was no bumping or backflow of chi. After finishing it slowly, I stopped the cultivation. Ha 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 ha. As soon as I stopped, I laughed out loud, stop laughing and tell me, was it good? At Short Sword's question, I nodded my head without a word. What we feared didn't happen, oh. This result showed one thing. Unlike the other warriors, I have two types of chi. It may only be the first time, but being able to use the middle and lower abdomen at the same time was something even the South Heavenly Swordsman couldn't achieve, ha. Huh? The South Heavenly Iron Sword, the most anxious one, sighed. Today was a lucky day. It felt like my life, which had been stuck since my return, was slowly unraveling and moving. It has been a while, Dan Tian. The one that left home had come back. Three days passed like that. During my three days of cultivating internal qi, I learned two things. Fortunately, I was able to handle innate qi and internal qi. Still, it was impossible to use both at the same time. The innate qi cannot be mixed with the internal qi. And the opposite was also true. If I tried to make it happen, I felt like both qi had different feelings and paths they took. It would be nice to use them both simultaneously, but for now, I had no choice but to be satisfied with this. Even if my internal qi is exhausted, I still have the innate qi left to use. Depending on the situation, I could use it like a hidden card. And the second lesson was that I needed a different internal qi cultivation method, not the one learned from my family. It is lacking. For basic learners, the cultivation method wasn't bad. Still, even if I used it for an entire day, I could not absorb the yang energy and ice qi in my veins. For this reason, the internal qi's growth was slower than the innate qi's. The most necessary thing right now was to get a technique that worked efficiently with my body, how about learning the old man's method? What? That old man's technique that makes the blood circulate faster or something. Ha! Look at this one. Well, it did make sense. In the beginning, meridians are just a path through which the blood and qi flow. If Hei Ak Dot Chun's cultivation method can be learned, it should push the blood faster into the body. The paths played the same role in cultivation, so it might be possible to absorb the qi in my veins. You are smart. He he he. Right. Right. Short Sword replied excitedly. Sometimes this one could think of things I had never considered before. This was definitely a possibility. However, Hei Ak Dot Chun had made sure to let me know that the cultivation method required a specific body condition for it to work, like the twins. Although I am a disciple, I wasn't sure he would teach me. And he might not teach me, considering that it could harm me, still, there is nothing wrong with asking. Or if you let him know about the chi in your veins. Not that. It is better to hide it. Hei Ak Dot Chun had indeed changed from before. However, hiding my condition was still the right choice unless I had a more intimate relationship, then how about asking the twins? Iron Sword asked Dot Ho. Right. They learned it, too, right. The twins came to know it after they officially became his disciples. They were properly taught the methods, but would they do what I asked, ya? Yeah. You are so na.ve. Throw the bait. Bait. They hated it to the point of death that they had to call you Sayang, right? Try using that. We never know. Right. Hmm, would that work? There was nothing wrong with trying. Anyway, there seemed to be a long time before Chun came back, so it would be a waste of time to train using a lacking method. I got up early the following day, went to Song Chua.bek, 
and asked him to teach me the true blood gold body cultivation technique. As expected, he rejected it. Never ever, anyway, the teacher told me not to tell anyone. And he laid down and began to sleep again. He cannot tell me the method. I don't know if the short swords technique will work, but I decided to try. Eh. Really. My dantian is restored, but I don't know when the teacher will return, so I asked in advance. Since we are of the same level, it should work, right? At this point, if I learn the teacher's technique from my saji, I was planning to live like disciples of the same level, that you are clever. Well, I can do this much. But I wasn't too sure. This wasn't a simple method, so I didn't think he would fall, but he looked like he was considering it. He had a weird expression on his face. What? Was he actually being swayed by the concept of being equals? He hesitated for a moment by lying down and looking at me as he squinted his eyes and said. Equals. Dot ah. He took the bait. Short Sword said proudly. Chapter 34. Position Test, 3, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Small Short Sword's devious scheme made him take the bait. I thought he wouldn't teach me the technique because he would be scared of Hey Ak. Chun. Still, when he heard my proposition for us to become equals, he immediately fell for it. I guess he didn't like me being Sayang. In a way, I couldn't understand how Short Sword managed to know this guy's heart so well, right, a child is a child. Well, he hasn't even stepped into manhood. I am just 16 or 17 now, but it is hard to call either of us the same. Besides, he must have hated it even more since we were the same age. But what of it? Hey Ak. Chun wasn't the kind to care about that. Right now, he doesn't like calling me Sayang and all, but in the future, he will be shouting my name and begging, how is it? One Hui. South Heavenly Iron Sword asked me as I was cultivating the new technique. It was a feeling which couldn't be put into words. It felt like blood was gushing inside my body. It was like being hung upside down on a cliff, you look very red. Like your face is going to explode. Short Sword said while clicking her tongue. I think I understood why she was saying that. Because the blood in my body was circulating around very quickly. It is hot. I could feel the temperature of my body rising. I could understand why this was a technique only those with a particular constitution could perform. Heiak. Chun used this technique, but a normal person could never even attempt it. Do you think it will work? It should. I am sure. When I used the technique of my family, the ice chi and yang energy didn't even budge, but now I could make them flow little by little. Getting the balance right was the key. It's been less than half an hour. Hook. Hook. No more. Usually, when one practices qi cultivation, they would enter a state of peace when they end it. On the other hand, the true blood gold body cultivation technique made it difficult to attain peace as it manipulated the flow of blood, making the heart beat violently. So doing this for a long time was impossible, for the time being, I think you need to divide your cultivation using half of this technique and half using your family technique, right, look at how much you are sweating now. Do people sweat while cultivating? Well, this was a first for me too. Still, there were results. Even after three days of cultivating using my family technique, I could gather very little qi in the dantian, and the ice qi and yang energy stayed still. But using the new technique for just half an hour, I got better results than in the past. Six months. Can my internal qi reach the state of a first dot rate warrior? I felt a presence outside the cave. The only other people who knew about this place were the twins and Hei Ak. Chun, so who is it? Tak. Someone came into the cave. A woman who covered her face with a white cotton cloth. And her eyes were exposed. She seemed to be one of the women under the sixth blood star. She looked at me and said, Young master. Could we ask for your time? The sixth blood star seeks you. 
me. I followed her to the Six Blood Valley and the main hall. When I asked how she found me, she said that Song Zhua.Bek had told her. There was a small vacant lot on the outside, and there were two other women, but not the Sixth Blood Star. Isn't that the one girl? Short Sword recognized one of the women. No, she was still a girl. The girl with a pure white face and concave features, Dam Yewa, had joined as a trainee at the same time as me. She was receiving something from a woman wearing a white cloth face covering. Ah. It had to be this time. I remembered when Dam Yewa was selected as the disciple of the Bloody Hand Witch. She must have stood out while being a trainee. When I arrived, they stopped what they were doing. The woman I was with guided me and asked me to wait near the main hall. I can just be asked to enter. Why make me wait outside? Excuse me, you were that one boy, right? I was planning on waiting quietly, but Dam Yewa came and spoke to me. I think she remembered me from back then. It would have been strange if she didn't remember me considering what I did when I received the blood parasite. It has been a while. I answered with a slight bow. Dam Yewa looked young but already felt like a woman. I couldn't treat her the way I treated Song Zhua.Bek. When I first saw her, she looked so scared, but now she was quiet and confident. Perhaps because she was chosen as a disciple. Are you training as a middle dot rank trainee? Ah. Uh. It felt like she came to tell me about her being a disciple. Seeing the expression on her face, she seemed excited about bragging about becoming a disciple of Sixth Blood Star too. It was good, but well, this showed that she is young. I, stop. Sammy. The woman in the white cotton mask stopped her from speaking, causing her to bow. I apologize. Mississippi. It looked like the disciple was well disciplined. She wanted to brag, but she was stopped, so she probably felt embarrassed due to being scolded in front of me. Not long after, the bloody hand witch, Han Bika appeared. I don't know how many sets of black clothes she had, but she looked like a grim reaper each time I saw her. I also couldn't see Miss Ha Yun. There were the other two of the women who had been there before, but Miss Ha Yun was missing. Chuck. When I tried to greet her, she raised her hand and said, enough. And then came close to me and pulled something out of her hand. It was a plaque. Showing her plaque, she spoke with an expressionless face. The disciple of our elder did something amazing. It seemed like she was giving me praise for being his disciple. Thanks to that, Dam Yewa, who discovered I was that crazy man's disciple stared at me wide-eyed. Right, I had a better background. But why was Han Bika showing off the plaque? Sixth Blood Star, what do you mean by this? You made a bet, right? Um, I guess she heard it from Miss Ha Yun. I don't know how much she said, but the fact that Han Bika knew meant that Miss Ha Yun at least told her. It was difficult to ever be given a plaque by the bloody hand witch. Miss Ha Yun, you cannot meet the child now. I wanted to ask why, but this woman was as scary as the red dead eyed woman. She cut off her own finger without blinking. Ah. Uh. The bandage was wrapped around her hand. Didn't she cut off her finger? Looking at the bandages, the cut finger area looked intact. This was miraculous. Could it be that the finger was attached? Isn't that the great doctor's work? As Short Sword said, it did seem to be like that. They said he could cure anyone except the dead, but I didn't know that even a severed finger could be attached, that is interesting. Can a severed neck be attached then? My dear short sword, you'd die if the neck was cut. In any case, that man had stellar skills. Receiving his plaque was becoming better every passing day. Han Bika clicked her tongue. To bet and ask for the Miss Plaque. I don't know where your guts came from. Her eyes and voice clearly said she didn't like me. It's definitely because of the plaque I was getting, especially since I asked for the plaque of the person she was serving. And to give it to me at all. Why bother saying all this when all she got to do was follow the orders? Bring it. 
one of the female disciples behind her brought a small bag to me. I asked them what it was. These are the herbs that will help you recover. Ah. I think this was Miss Ha Yun's doing. Didn't she also take care of me during the search and ask me to not overuse my innate chi? Han Bika showed the plaque in her hand. Beck Ryan. Ha. Beck Ryan. Ha. I think this was Miss Ha Yun's real name. I did expect her to use a fake name, but she used her real name on the plaque. I hesitated because of Han Bika's attitude, and she nodded to the plaque I reached out to take. It was then. S.H. She dropped the plaque down, and I hurriedly tried to grab it as she grabbed onto my wrist. Pack. Her clench was so strong that I couldn't help but feel stuck in it. What should I do? She was way too strong for me to even push her hand away. Ah. At that time, a cold feeling ran through my wrist. It seemed to be Han Bika's internal chi. As it kept moving, it went into my dantian. However, with the vast gap of power between us, I began to feel cornered before it stopped. Sixth blood, you better keep your mouth shut. Her internal chi moved around as if scanning every inch of my body before it vanished. And then she said. It doesn't look like you have as much chi as we feared. Ah, she was just checking my body. Does she have to startle me like this to just look at my condition? Or did she have another purpose? But thanks to this, I learned one thing. She looked into my body but couldn't notice my innate chi. This is good. Neither miss nor this woman noticed it. Clearly, the innate chi is my trump card. And she smiled. Our miss rushed this, considering how she got you a pill. Ah. Uh. She said you are in the process of recovering your dantian, but it would be better to not overdo it. If you try to keep building chi in a hurry, it will break your body. The pills and elixirs were things I would never be able to get. However, she seemed to have misunderstood that the yang energy and ice chi in my body were due to cultivation. Even the great doctor said it had a similar result to consuming pills. Ah. Then wouldn't I be misunderstood by Hei Ak. Chun later? If he looked inside my body, he would definitely notice it. I had to find a suitable excuse for it. If not, do I have to get punished again? SH. She let go of my wrist. How much do I have to cultivate to ensure that the two energies are fully absorbed? I bowed my head to her and stored the Beck Ryan. Ha's plaque in my sleeve. And then Han Beck. Ha said, I hope you don't use that plaque for useless things. Useless things. A warning. Well, considering who the plaque was from, a warning was a must. Now can I go? Tuck. Then, I will go. As I was about to leave, she suddenly told me. Would you like to make a bet with me? Ah. Uh, what was this now? Was she trying to steal the plaque she just gave me? Well, as if she read my mind, she said. If you are worried about me taking away the plaque you were given, then don't worry. Since the young master is a good person to bet with, I think I want to repay him a little bit. What was it if she wasn't aiming to take back the plaque? If I didn't know, I didn't have to do it, so I grasped my hand and said. How can I bet with the sixth blood star? Please stop saying, if the young master wins, it might not be as good as the elders, but I will teach you one of my techniques. Techniques. What did this woman think of others? Anyway, I think I might just be tempted by that offer. Even if it stank, I liked it. It was common sense to try it, at least. I am sorry, how can I covet the technique of, she cut me off again. If I win, the young master can tell his teacher to reconsider my proposal. Simple right. This wouldn't be much of a loss to the young master. That was her purpose. It seems like she wanted me to persuade Hei Ak. Chun. But I didn't know which side the old man was leaning towards, still, there is no harm for you. It was definitely not a bad condition, but these are just words. I can only judge based on what the bet is. Yewa. 
And then she called Dam Yewa. The girl walked up to the front. This low dot level trainee is a kid I took in three days ago. Having never mastered martial arts, she had to be a low dot level trainee. That was why she was taken under the sixth blood star. I will teach this child the lady's treatment for as long as I stay in the six blood valley. There is a position test six months from now. Until then, the purpose is to raise this child into a higher rank warrior. She said it so casually, but it was an arrogant statement. To make a first dot rate warrior in just half a year. Well, she at least is better than Hayak. Chun. The man just told me to take the place of a leader and not just a first dot rate warrior. Looking at this, I could clearly understand why this was the reason those who mastered martial arts put in the effort to have excellent disciples. Betting is easy. It is a contest to see who will become a higher ranked warrior among the two. Han Bika's eyes showed confidence. It was because she found a kid with inherent talent and coveted her. She thought of this bet because she was sure of making this child into a first dot rate warrior. What if both of us become first dot rate? Then you two will compete, and we see who wins. A very warrior dot like idea. There was no draw that I said to listen, and you ended up accepting it. I have to aim higher than that. So be quiet and take it. My goal wasn't to become a first dot rate warrior. It was to be a leader. It can be an adventure or a motivator for me. If I win, I get a chance to know one of her techniques which are known to be one of the best in the cult, there is nothing wrong with losing. You can say that you will consider it. Not that. Dot uh. Why? If I deliver those words, regardless of whether I bet or not, I will be giving the old man an impression that I step to the side of Beck Ryan. Ha. Perhaps, this was her goal. That was not good for me. There is something I learned as a spy, what is that? If you are not sure, never bet. You learned that as a spy. It is like some kind of gambling rule. It is similar. What? When a power struggle happens, one shouldn't be biased. Why? Isn't that fat kid better than that red that I'd won? At least she is helping you. Of course, in terms of friendships, this was correct. However, perhaps her favor was given after already calculating me to be the old man's disciple. Maybe this was her move to coax me, well, it could be. Still, I hate the other one more. You never know. Maybe the red dot eyed woman holds the majority interest in the current blood cult, why? How can you know that without seeing anything? If that was not the case, she would have come to persuade Hei Ak. Chun like Miss Ha Yun or Beck Ryan. Ha did. Dot ah, right. The red dot eyed woman just asked me to send her regards to the old man. The way she spoke was relaxed too. Looking at that alone, she must already have had the upper hand in the fight. And she decided to not even hide that. Therefore, it is dangerous to get close to one side. If Beck Ryan. Ha doesn't become the cult leader, then the people on her side might be killed. Either they get taken advantage of or killed miserably. This applies to the forces of justice as well as all other sections I see. What? The reason why you survived so long despite the power struggle. Right. If you don't get noticed, you don't die. And in this life, I was going after power. In the vacant lot that So One Hui had just left, a woman with a white cotton mask on her face appeared. Everyone, including the bloody hand witch, bowed their heads to her. The woman was the formerly plump Beck Ryan. Ha. Normally, she should be around the same size as the other two fat women, but she had lost a little weight. Did he accept it? Beck Ryan. Ha asked as Han Bika nodded. He accepted. I don't think he is as smart as you said. Han Bika was confident that she would win the bet. This child, Dam Yewa, whom she had discovered has the best body, which works well with her technique. More than any of the disciples she had. If she taught her intensively for half a year, she was sure of making her a first dot rate warrior. If we win the bet, 
it will be easier to convince that man through the child. Han Bika was sure. Well. Do you not believe in it? I do. But, but. He isn't the kind to get into losing bets. Beck Ryan. Ha was convinced that one Hui would never bet on a losing hand. Han Bika smiled and said. Hu hu hu, don't worry, miss. With this child's talent. We will never lose. Trust me. Dan Yewa spoke in a voice of determination. She too, was determined to win it for the teacher who selected her. And six months passed. Chapter 35 Leader, 1, you are listening at NovelFull.audio. There is a large site called the Town Square in the Six Blood Valley. This place could accommodate the largest number of people out of all the training grounds in the Six Blood Valley. The site was usually never full, but today it was crowded with warriors and trainees of the blood cult. Stand straight. Yes. A shout with a loud voice was heard along with a sharp sound. After one year of training, the trainees were transformed into warriors of the blood cult. Starting from the right, the upper dot rank trainees were positioned with upper written on the back of their shirts. In the middle were the middle dot rank trainees with the word middle written on their shirts. And lastly, even the lower dot rank trainees did the same. Good. Standing on the podium was Gu Sang. Wung, the head of Six Blood Valley, looking down at the trainees with a satisfied face. Behind him were the five major leaders under him. Three of them were already replaced with new ones. One was missing, and the two were removed for attacking the lady. The man then began to explain the position test to the trainees. The position test would proceed as follows. All the trainees would participate in the blood demon combat. All of the trainees practiced it. It was the basic combat technique of the sect that was taught. Only the sixth form, the twelfth form, and the thirty-sixth form could be used. Once that was completed, they could attain the position of a regular warrior. Among those who pass as warriors, those verified by the respective masters will take the position test for a middle dot rank warrior. Middle dot rank warriors meant that they qualified as second dot rate warriors. It required a test that utilized internal chi. Most low dot rank trainees were called third dot rate warriors, and many couldn't master martial arts and other things because of low internal chi. On the other hand, to be recognized as one of the second dot rate warriors, the trainee should have at least 10 years worth of internal chi. One of the easiest methods was by using a cataclysm stone. The cataclysm stone was a stone that was hard enough and was able to handle an infusion of internal chi. Then the test continued with a fight against a middle dot rank warrior of the blood cult. If a trainee can last more than 30 seconds, they will get that role. Clench. A middle dot rank warrior standing in front of the podium was warming up. They, too, went through the same process to get these roles. Unlike the low dot ranked ones, those in the middle rank got to learn the martial arts of the upper dot ranked warriors as well as the martial arts of the blood cult. All of this was done through one year of additional training. Woo! The trainees exclaimed as he explained. Of course, those who shouted were the ones aiming for that role. Finally, an upper dot ranked warrior. Among the trainees this time, those taking the test for the position of an upper dot ranked warrior are, um, six members. Gu Sang Da Wum looked at one of the leaders. He was a leader with thick eyebrows and wearing a sword on his side. The man was also in charge of the upper dot ranked trainees. Not bad. That leader shrugged his shoulders. There were three more places like the Six Blood Valley where the test was happening, and having six such high dot level trainees was a good thing. A well dot trained first dot class warrior can deal with dozens of soldiers on their own. Cultivating such warriors wasn't an easy task, not for blood cult at least. So having six people come out of this was a good thing. Usually, only three or four people would qualify. Who is that? Five of the trainees jumped up from their places. Trainee Li Gyu. Trainee Ha Chan. 
Trainee Joe Song.1 Trainee, seeing them all confidently stand up, Gu Sang Dut Wung smiled happily. Behind the trainees were people who were observing everything. They were sent by elders and the seventh blood star to select useful trainees from here. Usually, those who have been given the rank of middle or higher were chosen. This will be a fierce fight. Recruiting an upper dot rank warrior was a war. Each side would want to hold such a warrior under them and do anything for it. This benefits the trainee as well. Unlike the second dot rate and third dot rate warriors, first dot rate warriors could choose their own positions. That way, there would be no fights between selectors. Which side will we get good talent? He watched it every time, but this selection time was the most interesting one. Usually, it wasn't possible to select more than two people at most to one side, but people get greedy for talent. This was a chance to see the conflict between the factions within the cult. Now, let's start the test. With Gu Sang Dut Wung's cry, the trainee's test began. Testing of forms and basic movements was done in an hour. Among the 106 trainees, 50 were confirmed to be third dot rate warriors. All but two of them were considered to be definite third dot rate warriors. Now we start the test of middle dot rank warriors. A total of 59 people were taking the test. Eight people failed the test that used the stone, and those were demoted to third dot rate warriors. TCH, seeing that, Gu Sang dot Wung clicked his tongue, and He Oxian, who was in charge of the middle dot rank warriors, was already losing it. Fortunately, the other one succeeded in moving ahead. Because the upper dot rank trainees were already different from the others, they could move up without a problem and attracted the attention of everyone. Middle dot rank warriors, come out. Err. The next thing was the battle test involving the 41 remaining trainees. There were a total of 37 who managed to endure it for 30 seconds against a full dot fledged middle dot rank warrior. The four who couldn't endure were demoted. Please give me a chance. Commander. Begging wouldn't help anyone. It didn't mean they would be given another chance just because they left a mark on the stone. The position test happened perfectly with no second chances. There are 37 finalists, not bad. It was confirmed that there were 37 second dot rate warriors. After one year of training, they will be full dot fledged second dot rate warriors. Is it just one more test left for first dot rate warriors? More than two hours have passed. The position test started early in the morning and was now going to noon. With this speed, the position test would be completed before lunch. Now then, the test for the upper rank, Gu Sang that Wu was about to announce the start but then turned around. The other leaders also did the same. A group of people was coming from the main hall. They were the bloody hand witch, Han Bika, and her disciple. What is this? Gu Sang Dut Wung was confused. Commander, there, Gu Sang Dut Wung looked at where He Oxian was pointing to. Other people were coming from the other side. Ha, there was a giant savage dressed in leopard clothes. The ghastly evil. Even from a distance, the man's force could be seen clearly. Behind him were Song Chua.Bek, Song Wu.Hyun, and So Wunhui, all of whom had larger builds than normal kids their age. We got the attention. Yes. It seemed like we popped out at the right time. When we appeared like this, everyone was bound to look. Everyone on the grounds was looking at us, from the trainees to warriors. He is really liking this. Song Chua.Bek, who was next to me, was smiling at this. On the other hand, his twin had an expressionless face. Hey Ak. Chun mumbled in annoyance. That damned wench is doing the same thing. Hey Ak. Chun looked at the bloody hand witch who was coming from the other side. He hated it because she was doing the same thing as him. Skip the low and middle dot rank tests. Ah. Uh. Well, you are my disciple. I don't expect you to go through those lowly tests. That was what Hayak. Chun told me before coming here. He was the one who suggested that we skip the basic warrior's test. 
However, Han Bika seemed to have the same thought. When the upper dot rank warrior test was about to start, I could see Dam Yewa, her disciple, come forward. If you make me lose face, prepare yourself. Hey Ak Dot Chun only made us nervous. I have been seeing him for over a year, so I was used to it that I don't think he has. Song Chua Dot Beck's expression went shaky. I could understand him. While training together, I think I saw him get beaten up at least once a month. It was an indiscriminate beating. Do you not remember that time? What? When he found out that he taught you that cultivation. Ah. We only got discovered less than a month ago. I didn't know it, but when I began to cultivate using Hei Ak Dot Chun's technique, wounds began to appear on my body, and, thanks to that, we got found out. Song Chua Dot Beck ended up getting beaten and then hung from the cliff for almost half a day. Maybe the memories were too engraved into his mind. The brat never disobeyed him again after that, what if it was done to you too? Do you think I haven't been through it already? Hey Ak Dot Chun's training and martial arts always reminded me of hell. I thought he would give me advice on swordsmanship, but I instead spent half a day being honed alongside the twins. He rolled people around so much that it would probably be better to die, thanks to that, I have strong muscles. I admit it. It's not as much as the twins, but my muscles were as hard as a stone. While I was talking with the short sword, we arrived at the podium. Long live the blood cult. Gu Sang. Wung and the five leaders paid their respects to Hei Ak. Chun and then bowed to the next in rank, the Bloody Hand Witch. The Bloody Hand Witch then greeted Hei Ak. Chun. I greet the elder. Between them, Gu Sang. Wung carefully spoke. Why did the two of you come to the site of the position test, Kulko? Why do you think we're here? Ah. Uh, to make my disciples take the test. Hei Ak. Chun pointed to us with his large hand. It is the same with me. Commander Gu. Han Bika put Dam Yewa to the front. It had been six months since I last saw her, and she looked different from then. She was mature, and her shyness had been replaced with confidence. Changed. Hei Ak. Chun clicked his tongue, looking at Han Bika. Han Bika didn't care and said to the commander. I was a little late, but fortunately, it seems like things are heading to the upper dot rank warrior test, so can this child also participate? The upper dot rank warrior test. Yes. Gu Sang dot Wum was confused. It was natural for him to react like that. Binov Kam I, too, thought that taking the test from the start would be right. Seeing this, I realized that a trainee's background was important. Will that do? Or not? Hei Ak. Chun asked the commander as if threatening him and Gu Sang. Wum looked shocked as he said. If they are disciples of mine, they can easily pass the low and middle ranks. He he. You are saying the obvious things. Hei Ak. Chun shrugged. Gu Sang. Wum lowered his voice and said, But elder. Not just the trainees but the other people and the members of the Seventh Blood Stars group are also watching this. What? I looked at the two men the commander pointed to. They looked like other elders and people of the Seventh Blood Star. They were startled when Hei Ak. Chun looked at them and bowed. Long live the blood cult. I could even hear their shouts. So what about them? It wasn't a bad, nor worrisome, thing for him. Gu Sang Da Wung then said. Still, many eyes are watching us, so how about certifying the disciples first? What? When Hei Ak Dot Chun looked like he was about to get angry, Han Bika intervened. Elder. His words make sense. He is the commander and wants to do things according to the cult's laws, so not listen to what he has to say. Ha. Huh. You shouldn't talk about laws. Hei Ak. Chun clicked his tongue. So, what do you mean by certifying? At his question, Gu Sang. Wung pointed toward the Cataclysm Stone, which was used during the middle. rank warrior test. 
If the disciples prove they are qualified to head up to the upper dot rank warrior test, no one will be able to speak against them. In other words, it was meant to prove they had the right to go higher. At these words, Han Bika smiled. It didn't seem like a difficult task for her. To maintain the commander's face, I will do this. Yewa. Yes, teacher. Han Bika pointed to the stone, and, realizing what she meant, the disciple walked towards it. Her hands were dyed red. The blood jade hand, she learned it for only six months but could still manifest it. The color of her hands was blood dark now. I heard that the darker it was, the stronger it was. Now I understood why she was taken in as her disciple. Hap. With a brief word, she struck the stone. CJK. And the part she touched began to crack around the mark left by her palm. Oh. Exclamations flowed from the mouths of the trainees. This was something they didn't get to see during their test time. Even the leaders were shocked. Dam Yewa politely bowed and went back. I did my best, but it was embarrassing. Han Bika smiled while looking at her and turned to Gu Sang. Wung. Is this enough? Yes. You have a really talented disciple. To achieve such a thing within six months. Gu Sang. Wung praised Dam Yewa with a surprised look. Han Bika nodded with satisfaction and looked at Hei Ak. Chun. Ha! Huh. Hei Ak. Chun just snorted. He then looked at me and said loudly. Be prepared if my name gets dragged down. Ah. What do I do to not let that happen? Does that mean that I need to show more than her? Why aren't you going out? At his urging, I walked forwards. I could see her palm print on the stone. I couldn't even take the middle dot rank warrior test in my past life, so I don't know how much was needed to level up, are you going to do it with internal chi? Yes. After all, the innate chi is my secret weapon. I had to use just the internal chi for this. I clenched my fist and caught my breath. Phew. I then began to increase my chi. It was taking me a moment as I had been building up my chi through hard work. Eighth level. Hap. I clenched my fist and then pushed it forward to the stone. If it was the eighth level of internal chi, it had to shake the stone at least, right? Crack. My fist had pierced into it. Ah. Uh. I thought that it would be hard, but this. It seemed too weak. Almost half my fist went into the stone. I turned my head in silence. Han Bika's forehead had wrinkled up, and Hei Ak. Chun was smiling from the other side, you set the benchmark high. Chapter 36 Leader, 2, you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. H. His fist pierced the stone. It wasn't just a mark that was left, be no calm. I could hear the sound of whispers from the trainees all around me. Even the leaders have changed the way they look at me. Did those eyes, which looked at Dam Yewa in a positive light, change as well? Well, those eyes at least looked more vigilant after what I did, that's obvious. What you did was like showing off a part of your internal chi. The South Heavenly Iron Sword said that to me. As he said, I was showing just a part of my power. In just six months, my internal chi had progressed at a shockingly fast rate. There were several factors for this growth. One major factor, by far, was the young energy in ice chi, which had been piled up in the body, the old man was a big help too. Hei Ak. Chun taught me how to do the Ming Will cultivation. This method differed from the Xing Ming cultivation technique, which was based on the invincible theory emphasizing balance in the body to complement cultivation. This other cultivation method was more about being appropriate for my body type. Shu. In any case, after the task was done, I bowed. Hu Hu, still far away. Hei Ak. Chun looked at me and shouted. Those words and his face said different things. Even though he said that his face kept looking at Han Bika's pale face. The disciples' results aren't normal. As expected of the elder. The bloody hand which, Han Bika, 
who had been frowning, shortly returned to her expressionless face again. She was incredibly good at controlling her emotions. Dan Ye Wam, however, bit her lip and looked at her master, she seems like she's taken notice. Right. Actually, even Hei Ak Dot Chun was a man who didn't know how to make a wise bet and did it only for the sake of his pride. Then what about her? The student who got caught in the middle due to my teacher and her master. She couldn't handle this. What are you doing? Show your skills too. At Hei Ak Dot Chun's words, Song Jua Dot Beck moved to the stone. I could hear his voice in my head. Look. How great I will do. This guy was stupid. It seemed like defeating me was his life goal. Phew. Song Chua Dot Beck adjusted his breathing and began using his internal chi. His skin began to turn a little brown as he did. The reason for the change in his skin color was due to the cultivation method he used, this was expected. As Small Short Sword said, the result of their own cultivation was greater compared to my results when I used the same method. I note that Hei Ak Dot Chun kept looking at Song Jua Dot Beck. Perhaps he was figuring out how much this method worked for his other student. Ha! With that shout, Song Jua Dot Beck clenched his fist and punched at the stone. Papak! The moment his fist touched it, small pieces of the stone bounced off. And when the fist collided, parts of the rock shattered and fell all around. Quack! It broke. The trainees were full of admiration again. Isn't he stronger? It almost seemed like the whole thing would break into pieces. Hearing the voices of the trainees, Song Jua Dot Beck looked proud as he turned toward Hei Ak Dot Chun. His expression was asking, I did well, right? He longed for a compliment, but the teacher's expression differed from what he expected. TCH, he was clicking his tongue. The stone wasn't just pierced, but it even broke. Yet the reason he had this expression was simple. It was because Song Chua Dot Beck's internal chi wasn't concentrated in one place when he punched. That was why the stone surface was damaged but not broken altogether. The elder's disciple is expected to do this much. At Han Bika's words, Hei Ak Dot Chun shouted at my fellow disciple. If you are done, come back. Even I could feel that Han Bika's words couldn't be taken as a compliment. Hei Ak Dot Chun was clearly annoyed, look at that face, man. I feel bad. Song Chua Dot Beck came in with a gloomy expression as things didn't happen the way he wanted. Although he didn't meet the teacher's expectations, everyone else on the ground was looking at him in awe. Go. At the command of Hei Ak Dot Chun, Song Chua Dot Beck's younger twin, Song Wu Dot Hyun, nodded. His body had changed so much in just six months. Normally, he would speak clumsily or imitate his older brother, but he no longer did that now. I know the results without even looking at it anymore. Gu Sang Dot Wung, the commander, now understood what Hei Ak Dot Chun meant at the start. Three people who came in the middle of the examination showed results that regular trainees could not. It was then. Bang. Bang. Everyone's eyes changed. They were all looking at one place because the sound was close to a roar, and they were all looking at Song Wu Dot Hyun. They didn't think that he would use his head to hit the stone. The part where his head had impacted the stone was caved in, and that wasn't even the end. Crack. The stone split in half from the point of impact. No, was his head made of diamond or something? Short sword clicked her tongue. One hui. He is a boulder. The crowd went silent. The trainees opened their mouths one by one, but they were all at a loss for words. It was the same for the other observers too. Not all of them were flapping their mouths, but none could take their eyes off the stone. Quahaha. Right. Right. That is the level that has to be shown. Hei Ak Dot Chun laughed wildly this time. I also spotted Dam Yewa looking relieved at I.S. She feeling relieved for not going against him. Um, it seemed like it. 
It looked like she would be sulky if she was asked to deal with a guy who breaks stones with his head. Oh, seriously. The achievement of handing over the crown to one another was displayed here. I had nothing more to say. Did he lose his hair to gain a superpower? I was curious how Song Chua Dot Beck would react. Ha! He kept sighing too many times, being frustrated at the performance of his younger twin. This was expected. In this way, the show that proved the skills of the twins, myself and Dam Yewa, were done. No one objected anymore. Instead, they now realized how strong the teachers were. Our intrusion into the test was now done, and we were automatically pushed into the upper dot rank warrior tests. Gu Sang dot Wung, the commander, then said aloud. Who will take the upper dot rank position test? A warrior with a blue belt around his waist walked to the front. A blue belt signified his status as an upper dot rank warrior. The biggest benefit of achieving this rank was being able to remove the blood parasite from within the body. That was why the trainees all looked at the blue belt. Song Chua Dot Beck then spoke to Hei Ak Dot Chun. Teacher. I will, quiet. Ah. Uh. Hei Ak Dot Chun prevented him from going first. Thinking back on it, it looked like he wanted Dan Yewa to head out first. But it wasn't just him. Even Han Bika was preventing her disciple from going out first. Look carefully. This is about the level of upper dot rank warriors, a first dot rate warrior of our sect. Although knowing he would have the upper hand in any fight, Song Chua dot Beck could understand Hei Ak dot Chun's meaning. Despite his eccentric personality, this man was a dedicated teacher, though he did suck at actually teaching. Long live the blood cult. Some of the upper dot rank trainees jumped up from their places and bowed. Then one walked to the front, looked at the podium, and said. Trainee Ha Mun dot Chan. Tak. Bu Seo dot Yong. The warrior, too, replied with his name and Gu Sang dot Wung on the podium said. If you can last twelve attacks against him, you pass. Just twelve. It cannot be just that. A trained warrior means that he was a first dot rate warrior. He was different from others because the level of martial arts was also different. It would be no easy task to defend the body from any twelve attacks or techniques he might use. I could tell from the trainee's tense face. Start. Both the trainee and the warrior made some distance between each other at the commander's words. As if conceding to the young one, the warrior gestured for the trainee to make the first move. After some hesitation, Ha Mun Dot Chun ran toward him. Tat. The trainee ran quickly and threw a kick at the warrior's head. Looking at his body shape and how he deployed the kick, I could tell he was well trained. But it was easily evaded pack. The warrior avoided it by moving to the side before aiming a counter at the trainee's leg. This was all done in one movement. However, Ha Mun Dot Chun didn't dodge it. Instead, he threw his upper body at the warrior to elbow him in the face. Tatak. The trainee was pushed to take three steps back, which made him lose his balance. Yet, I noted that he used the loss of balance to stabilize his core strength. Pretty good. Hey Ak Dot Chun mumbled. As he said, this trainee, Ha Mun Dot Chun, was a fighter. The ability to judge, respond and understand instantly was important in battles, fights, and confrontations. If those skills were taught to this trainee, he would be an excellent, first-dot-rate warrior that I think he is being dragged around. Short Sword said, puzzled. It is fine to do that. Why? This was a test that was supposed to select the future of the cult. In other words, it was to select those who had the potential to become first dot rate warriors. If a warrior like the one in front of the podium wanted to defeat the trainee, he could do it in three attacks instead of twelve. The two collided again in earnest. The warrior didn't use any other martial arts other than close combat attacks. Despite the fight being difficult for him, the trainee managed to persevere until the time of the fourteenth attack. Enough. 
The two stopped at the sound of Gu Sang. Wang's voice. The commander had a satisfied expression on his face. This is sufficient. Trainee Ha Mun. Chun, you pass. Wah! The trainees all cheered as if they all had passed. The first person who passed the test went to the podium and returned with a blue belt in hand. Do you have a sense of what this is? Hei Ak. Chun asked us a question, to which Song Chua. Beck replied confidently. I think it is good. I will not bring shame to our teacher's name. Hei Ak. Chun clicked his tongue at the boy's words. Do you think I asked for that? Ah. Uh. TCH, TCH. Hei Ak. Chun looked at him with pity on his face. I answered while recalling the movement of the warrior in my head. During the battle, the warrior there seemed to use about 3 to 4 percent of his strength. Strength referred to how much internal chi was used. That's what I meant when I noted how much strength was used by the warrior. It was hard to be sure, but at most, I can be certain that he didn't use a lot of internal chi. The trainee was already sweating profusely, but the warrior clearly didn't shed a single sweat. My observation prompted Hei Ak. Chun to push further. And his movement was also different from that of trainees, and when they came together, it didn't seem like he took more than three steps away from his original position. It's limited footwork. Hee <laughs> hee. Your eyes work well. With those words, Hei Ak. Chun looked at Song Chua. Beck, who seemed embarrassed for not understanding the true intentions of the question. You, enough. Hei Ak. Chun was trying to say something to the other twin but quickly gave up. Song Wu. Hyun didn't even look at the man and kept observing the fight in front of us. To make that old man shut up. Oh, envious. Meanwhile, the second trainee appeared. This time a different warrior came out too. The match was the same as before. The upper dot rank warrior moved minimally and made the trainee struggle till the end before giving them a blue belt. I didn't know because I had never gotten this far in my previous life, but the five who qualified all passed. The smile didn't leave the face of Gu Sang that wound the whole time. Lastly, HM. Gu Sang that Wum realized he had made a mistake and corrected it. Who will come as number six? Dan Yewa hadn't gone ahead until this time and had only kept watching. It was the same with us. Hei Ak. Chun told us to keep watching. Trainee Cho Sung. One. Among the trainees, the last person came out and bowed. Cho Sung. One. Where have I heard this name, someone you know? I remember hearing it. It wasn't me in this life but me in the past who heard it. I remembered things or people who were memorable. But this name felt so familiar. Who was it? Start. With the commander's shout, the trainee named Cho Sung. One began to move. I privately thought that I had to take a closer look at this. In my memory, I remember fights being different. Tat attack. The warrior called Go Jin. Chang, and the trainee collided. As the two collided, all the other trainees exclaimed loudly. It seemed like the warrior was moving for the first time to avoid getting hit by a trainee's successive attacks. Oh. That guy has learned martial arts before. Hei Ak. Chun mumbled. After learning martial arts in this life, I think I understood his meaning. In addition to the basic footwork, the trainee was moving around to confuse and make the warrior take more than three steps for the first time. You. Go Jin. Chang, a warrior whose pride was injured, lifted up the restrictions he had to follow when fighting a trainee and pushed the trainee even further. Tat attack. Still, Cho Sung. One managed to block the attack and countered. Oh. The trainees who were watching seemed to like this. I knew this. This guy was different from the other trainees. Not only did he have qualities for it, but he was close to beating a first-rate warrior. Ah. I remembered. I figured out why I couldn't remember his name. This guy was doomed to die in half a year, doomed to die. Why? In response to the small sword's question, 
I gave a reply while I looked at the fight. He is a spy for the beggar union. Chapter 37 Leader, Free, you are listening at NovelFull.audio Papa Pack In an instant, the number of attacks that were exchanged between the two went past 12 all the way to 16. The warrior, perhaps forgetting that this was just a test, became greedier in his effort to defeat the trainee, prompting Gu Sang.Wu to call out. Enough. Go Jin.Chang stopped at his commander's order. The result might have been much worse if he didn't stop there. Typically, one had to calm their expression and bow to the trainee who did well, but all the trainee got was an annoyed look. Tuck. On the other hand, the trainee bowed to the warrior, prompting the other trainees to shout. Wah! So cool. Although the number of trainees was small for this test, not being pushed around by a warrior was significant enough for the trainees to lose their minds. Hey Ak. Chun mumbled. Koko. Such a nice one. The source of his martial arts seems to be the lower district sect. After saying those words, Hey Ak. Chun's throat trembled. A message to someone. Perhaps the other person was. The blood wolf leader. Said leader's eyes were also looking at Hei Ak. Chun. As he was in charge of the trainees, he seemed to be asking for the child's details. Hei Ak. Chun nodded. Well, right. He looked satisfied as if his prediction was on point. Was Cho Sung that one using the martial arts of the lower district sect? Didn't you say it was the beggar's union? Yes. This kid had to be from the beggar's union. The blood cult issued an order to kill him, and that was information known to all. That, at least, I remembered. Couldn't he have hidden his martial arts? If he is of the beggar's union like you said, why would he openly show it? Iron Sword's words were also valid. Obviously, there was no way he could use those martial arts here. In order to hide his identity, even the appropriate martial arts should be used. The Lower District Sect even if he was doing this to deceive, he was doing it with the lower district sex martial arts. The beggars union and the lower district were known to be top information dot gathering places. And they might have had a competitive relationship. But. What? He was daring enough to use the lower district's name here. The lower district is on the side of the forces of evil and unorthodox sects. While the beggars union was on the other side. Since the time of its creation, the Beggars' Union at least had a sense of national patriotism and a general feeling of justice. Meanwhile, the lower district sect consisted of gamblers, thieves, and bandits, all typical of any evil sect. From the point of view of the blood cult, the lower district sect was the more favorable one. Quack, he would be in high demand. Ah! Uh, what was this old man saying? A spy was a talent to covet. I was too flabbergasted. Who will take the next test? Gu Sang.Wung asked, his eyes looking at us and Han Bika. The trainees, too, were looking over at this side. Now it was the turn of us disciples. Teacher, I will go, no, Heiak.Chun stopped Song Jua.Bek from going out again and shouted at Han Bika. He he, I yield. You can send your disciple first. I thought he would send one of us to show a better form to the trainees, but the old man had different thoughts. Perhaps this was from an experience he had. Dan Yewa had to take the test first, and he probably was trying to figure out what level a warrior she trained could end up being. Indeed, if Dan Yewa was trained, she would be able to fight correctly, unlike the trainee before. But an unexpected answer came from her teacher instead. No. This time, I will yield to your disciples. What? Hey Ak. Chun raised his eyebrows. Still, this man had a higher position, and I didn't understand how she could refuse him. Was she telling him to show off the skills of his disciples first? Perhaps she said it with the same thoughts and aims that Hey Ak. Chun had. But you see, my teacher wouldn't just accept that. Ha! Huh. If I said I would yield, just accept it, uh. Hey Ak. Chun, who was speaking, 
went silent. He looked at Han Bika but said nothing. It seemed like they were using voice transmission. What are they talking about? He then frowned as he looked at me. Did you make a bet with the bloody hand witch? Ah. I never thought I'd have to explain that in such a place. Since the honor of her disciple and myself was on the line, I didn't think the woman would be foolhardy enough to talk about it, ugh. Such an evil one. Planning to win the bet like this. No, some decided to attack the players to gain an advantage. But, this was intended to instill awareness within me. Well, this woman wasn't an average person. The bloody hand which smiled as she looked at me. She deliberately pretended to be friendly, acting. Acting. Short sword clicked her tongue. But there is one thing she didn't know. Hey Ak. Chun spoke with an annoyed face. Ha. Huh. A bet to persuade me through you. You idiot. I told him about how the bloody hand which was trying to convince him through me. Through all this, Han Beck. Ha continued to smile, you are being used. He <laughs> he. Short sword grinned as she laughed. Well, apart from the bet, there is nothing else that can be said to my teacher. If I lost, I would act according to her will. So I just told Hei Ak. Chun. However, the bet was hidden, but she still decided to speak up and inform Hei Ak. Chun while trying to overrule us. This was rather sad. Actually, I told Hei Ak. Chun what happened. TCH, well, if you have a chance to get something, you need to jump in. Unexpectedly, Hei Ak. Chun didn't seem angry. He seemed to understand, it's just like his personality, and I scratched my head. If you use your head again, I will break your hands and legs. Ah, right. It wasn't all smooth sailing either. But the man still smiled at me. He <laughs> he. You made such an interesting bet. To make the girl who only wore black clothes come out and speak like this. Pack. Ah. Uh. With that, he pushed me on the back, and I stepped up. Show me. Words which meant a lot. He told us not to go first, but now he pushed me ahead, which left Song Zhua.Bek looking dissatisfied. I didn't want to do it either. Phew. It seemed like I had to do this first. It would have been better if the twins went out first to bring more attention, but nothing I could do about it now. Chuck. I bowed to the commander Gu Sang. Wung. He, too, bowed slightly as I was a disciple of that old man before nodding to a warrior on the podium. The man, who had a scar on his eyes, stepped up. Now that we have a trainee, let's start the test, then I said, I want to take the test for the position of a leader. Gu Sang. Wung, the commander of the Six Blood Valley, went stiff. It was the same case with the other leaders behind him. Mumbles could be heard all around. What does this mean? A leader. This reaction was natural. I came out to take the test for upper dot rank warrior and requested to be made a leader instead. Even Han Bika, who had been smiling at me, seemed to be frowning now. Even Dam Yewa had a similar frown on her face. He <laughs> he. Hei Ak. Chun was the only one who was laughing in this situation. I was going to let Song Chua.Bek get the attention, but I received it instead. Gu Sang.Wung, who first looked at Hei Ak. Chun with a stiff face, then looked at me. Do you know what that means? Of course, I knew. I heard it from No Songgu, the leader of Blood Wolf. There are three ways to become a leader. First, if you fulfill the tenure of an upper dot rank first dot rate warrior and deliver both results and performance, the position will eventually be granted to you. Second, there was also a chance of getting the position after receiving considerable merit. I know. You must win in less than a hundred seconds against two ranked warriors using a sword. Quack. The trainees were all roaring. The difficulty level had gone up. This third method made sense. Even if they were first-rate warriors, not all of them would have the same strength. In order to be recognized as a skilled warrior, 
one must have at least enough skills to deal with other first-rate warriors. I could feel Gu Sang Da Wung's eyes pierce through me. The elder seems to have taught his disciples well. I heard something in my head. It sounded like a compliment, but there was a hint of sarcasm in it. Well, I could understand his emotions. Even if he was an elder, it is absurd to push a disciple who had only trained under him for just six months to the position of a leader. Besides, unlike the twins, I was known to have a broken dantian that only healed just six months prior, that face is no joke. As Short Sword said, no one seemed to be liking this. Perhaps the source of their hate was the fact that I had only been training for six months. Clench. As they relaxed their bodies, I could feel their hatred toward me. They considered my act a disgrace, but they also seemed to think that a newcomer like me who had just started to learn martial arts was becoming cocky. Are you really fine? Gu Sang Dot Wung asked Hei Ak Dot Chun. He he, he has enough qualifications. That is why I sent him. I understand, Dot Hei Ak Dot Chun sounded confident, and the commander turned to me with cold eyes. Are you going to use, that sword? I could see why he asked that. Hei Ak Dot Chun was known for his close combat fighting style, so having a sword might be weird. Yes. Gu Sang Dot Wung frowned. Then, he looked at the warriors under his podium. The warriors were all looking at me with zealous eyes. Then he called out two of them. Dae Jong, Hoyan. Yes. Both men had swords on their backs. They were swordsmen, and this looked like it would be a battle of swords. But you are the disciple of an elder. Gu Sang Dot Wung's intentions were clear. As both warriors approached me, I could see their gazes moving to the iron sword on my back. You two will test him. Yes. They bowed and then widened the space between us to prepare to engage. Coincidentally the two also seemed to be talking to me. If you came out because of the elder's orders, there is no need to covet the leader position. You will have a lot more chances. Since you are the elder's disciple and wield a sword, I ask you to learn humbly from us. Their expressions and words were so different. Their eyes were like they wanted to eat me and were burning with determination. As soon as the signal to start was sounded, they would move. So I said, do take good care of me. I said it politely, but that only brought displeasure into their eyes. They clearly wanted to start right away. Itch itch. I grabbed my sword, and the crowd went silent. The eyes of the trainees didn't leave the warriors on the podium or me. At that time, Go Sang Dot Wung said, start. Tat. As soon as the words were said, their feet instantly moved away from the ground as they came for me. Were they skilled in light footwork? Kong. The two warriors drew their swords and came for me, swinging them towards my head and left leg, hoping to end this at once. Tat attack. I stretched out my legs and stepped back. As first dot rate warriors, the two also narrowed the distance. Chong. I drew out iron sword and clashed with the warrior Dae Jong's sword as he blocked my blade with his. Clang. Shu. At that moment, the other warrior, Hoyan, stabbed at my right chest, making me use my footwork to widen the distance. Chang. Ha. Hoyan too hurriedly moved back. To prevent me from following, Dae Jong appeared from the left to stab me in the shoulder. Chang. I rotated the sword to bounce his attack upwards, making Dae Jong frown. It seemed like he was shocked by how well I responded to his attack without showing signs of fear. This was a matter of course. For nearly four months, I fought 100 mock battles with Hei Ak Dot Chun over and over. They were almost real battles for me, so how could my body not respond? Dae Jong and Hoi An glanced at each other. It looked like they decided to change their tactics. Tat. Dae Jong ran to me and used a proper sword technique rather than just a simple movement. A fierce technique flew to me like a tiger running wild. Cha-cha-cha-cha. There was a way to receive it with the same force, 
but I chose a softer sword technique to respond to it. Chuck. By using a technique that was like a soft loach, I aimed an attack at the gap in the warrior's sword technique. This shocked him as he didn't seem to expect me to come close. It was unfortunate, but the sword techniques we learnt were innately different. Pock. My sword went for his sword and pierced his shoulder and chest twice. He panicked at the light stabs but managed to move back. Tatata. I followed him with the intent of getting rid of him as he moved back, causing him to smile. You are still young. It was then that I bent my body as low as I could. Shu. A sword which could have cut my head off instead cut nothing but air. What? I pulled out the short sword and stabbed at him without looking back. Quack. Quack. A muffled shout could be heard. Without stopping, I turned around while holding iron sword in my hand. At that moment, I rotated my body like a whirlwind and slashed my sword upwards. It was the maneuvering dragon slashing sword. Chang. Dae Jong, who was in front of me, couldn't control the force of my sword and bounced back. As I rotated while soaring in the air, I held both swords in my hands. I then struck both of them down using the falling meteor sword. Damn it. Hoyin, startled at the force of my attack, tried to block it, but his sword got cut in half instead. Crack. Quack. Hoyin fell to the floor. If he tried to get back up, he could die. I stopped the technique right in front of his nose. Quack. Hoyin's face was nervous as he looked at the iron sword in front of him. I pulled my sword back as I said to him. You are bleeding. Look at the dagger. The dagger was stuck in Hoyan's thigh, and he mumbled as he didn't seem to perceive the pain until I pointed it out. H. How can you not? I looked at his sword, which was split in half. No matter how much I killed his spirit, the sound of his sword being broken must have been a blow to him. Whoa! And deafening screams came from the side of the trainees. Chapter 38 Leader, 4 you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Whoa! The trainees all shouted passionately for So One Hui. See that? He stopped the sword right in front of the warrior's nose. That's insane. He actually won. Didn't he say he needed to last for 100 seconds or something? It doesn't even look like a few seconds have passed. The upper dot rank warriors were like absolute beings for the trainees. However, that I managed to take two of them down with overwhelming force was enough to fascinate them. Ha, Gu Sang. Wung, the commander, was speechless too. His expectations had been flipped. The ghastly monster, Hei Ak. Chun, was known for his fists and kicks. So when Wen Hui came with a sword, he thought the boy would be taken down quickly. He was convinced that no one could go against a first-rate warrior after just six months of training, but this was something else. Has it only been just six months since his Dantian was restored? I cannot believe this. It has to be either of these two. Maybe he already knew things before his Dantian was broken, or the Elder just invented an amazing sword technique. Is the Elder even good with swords? Ha! When one reaches an old age, they have a knack for everything. The leaders couldn't help but admire my achievement, though they focused more on the sword technique. That was how incredible the technique's power was. Teacher, damn Yewa couldn't take her eyes off her teacher. This was her first time seeing such an expression on her face after being brought in as a disciple. So one hui, that person is really, she didn't think he would embarrass her like this. She and Han Bika had tried and set higher goals all this while when compared to the test. Their goal had been to not only endure twelve attacks but to gracefully break them. Sun Wenhui was clearly ahead of her. He didn't even let the two warriors show their skills. Ha! A sigh. Even if she learned under Han Bika, she wasn't confident enough to take on two warriors at once. Why does this man make things difficult for her? The frown on her teacher's face showed no sign of disappearing. 
Did that old man really create this sword technique? Han Bika was confused. The bet aside, the sword technique she witnessed wasn't an ordinary technique. It was full of ascending movements and attacks. It differed from the methodology Hei Ak Dot Chun followed, which was to work with the body and internal chi. No. It cannot be that. She couldn't know that this wasn't a technique created by Hei Ak Dot Chun. This was a technique created by someone who is both experienced and skilled with the sword. She looked over at Hei Ak Dot Chun again, but the man instead looked at So Wanhui with a strange smile. He he. It reminds me of the South Heavenly Swordsman. He remembered the battle against his former rival while looking at So Wanhui. A battle he would never have again, ah. You're a leader now. You did well. Short Sword was returned to me a little late after I used her to wound Hoyan's thigh, so she was making a fuss about it. As she said, in front of everyone who was watching, I managed to get an official title and managed to attain a leadership position. No one could disagree either after they witnessed my match. The two warriors who went against me had surrendered cleanly. I managed to burn away their hopes of winning while at the same time making the crowd acknowledge my sword technique. You are qualified to be a leader. I admit it too. This is like meeting a promising swordsman. They all changed their thoughts. I am, after all, a swordsman who can talk with swords. That strengthens the friendship and performance between sword and user. This made sense that I was worried about you telling us to not help, but you did well, still, training to feel the flow of internal chi of the opponent seems necessary. You would have lost if you couldn't hear the sound of their swords. Iron Sword was coldly analyzing the match. Right. Without the advantage of hearing the sound of their swords, would have been in danger. It was rather tight. If you limit your skills and still do something like that, you should be praised, right? That. No. Iron Sword is right. I didn't achieve my goal. I did defeat the two warriors without showing my all. This wasn't my actual goal, however. The purpose of this fight was to win with just my internal chi and sword technique, but I still listened to the sounds of their swords and reacted. To reach higher, I needed to be strict with myself, right, brat? You act like a warrior these days. Dot a good change. I have been thinking a lot these past six months. To attain a vague level of power and strength was an abstract goal. It didn't even make sense to be strong. If there was an aspiration to be a warrior, I should at least dream of being a prominent one in the Central Plains. Hayak. Chun was just a stepping stone that we have a long way to go. Right. A long way. But not even a year after regressing, didn't I reach the position of a leader. This was something I would never even have dreamt of. I would never have known this possibility if I hadn't moved ahead, hee <laughs> hee, well. Because you won the bet, we can learn from that woman. As Short Sword said, I won the bet. Dan Yewa came out right after my fight was over. She had no choice but to apply for the position of a leader because the pride of her teacher was at stake. But the result wasn't great. She fought hard but was defeated in less than 50 seconds. I couldn't forget the expression Han Bika had. It wasn't a frown, she is so dead. As she said, Dam Yewa could not raise her head, acting as if she did something wrong. Seeing that. Why? Feeling bad. Why would I feel sorry for her? Just a bit sad. That was all. Since she lost, maybe she would be getting a good beating from the bloody hand witch. I can understand since Hayak. Chun would have done that, still, the achievement she had in six months is remarkable. Iron Sword praised Dam Yewa. Clearly, her martial arts were amazing for someone who only had six months to learn. In addition, she even managed to meet the condition of surviving a battle against an upper dot rank warrior and was recognized as an upper dot rank warrior in turn. The problem, is him. TCH, the sound of Hei Ak dot Chun clicking his tongue. He didn't have a good expression, but I can understand why. Pack. Pack. 
Song Chua. Bex fight was over 60 seconds long. He went out saying he would end it before me, but that didn't happen. That idiot. Hey Ak. Chun said that while looking at him. In a way, Song Chua. Bex was his true disciple. At least he would have hoped for similar results to mine, but it was coming out differently that I guess he is out of luck. I agreed with Iron Sword's words. After my fight, all the warriors were more cautious. In particular, they were warrior of Song Chua. Beck, who was known to have directly learned Hei Ak. Chun's techniques. So the fights were getting longer. Damn it. Song Chua. Beck's irritated voice could be heard all the way here. Due to the pressure to end it quickly, he couldn't even show his skills properly. Well, if 100 seconds passed, he would get the position, then that old man will kill him. Right. That was a possibility. Still, I would love to see him being sympathetic to others. It was then. Papak. Song Chua. Beck grabbed the belt of the warrior who had been trying to widen the distance. The other warrior threw his fists at Song Chua. Beck's face while he resisted it and showed his wits. Boo! Song Chua. Beck threw the warrior he had grabbed by the belt. The throw was directed at the other warrior who was coming at him. This made the two collide and fall to the floor, this was worthy enough. As with internal chi, Hei Ak. Chun's training involved external chi too. It was nothing but pure physical strength, which was difficult for me. The warrior who fell tried to get up, but it was too late. Why bother getting up? Pupupuk. Song Chua. Beck's fists were like rapid fire landing on his opponent. Song Chua. Beck didn't pay attention to anything else and kept throwing the fist. Stop. Stop. In the end, the two surrendered. Tuck. Song Chua. Beck, who raised his fist at the win, looked around, but no one cheered. Drip one of his eyes was swollen, and his nose was bleeding. It didn't really look like the image of victory to the observers. Fuck, nosebleed. TCH, Hei Ak. Chun continued to click his tongue. Look at him. Such disgrace. Despite that, he seemed happy that his disciple would be a leader now. Well, if you are happy, I am happy. If those bastards didn't run around like hamsters, I would have ended it faster than you. I just wish they would stop saying that to me. The other twin was the last one, and Hei Ak. Chun told him. Ha! Huh. If you act like that damn brother of yours, you will be starved. The guy was already bald, but now his eyes seemed to be falling out, so his face looked so troubled. Song Wu. Hyun nodded and walked to the front. Du Kyung. Kong Chai. Ji. Did he feel a sense of crisis with the ones that have gone before? Gu Sang. Wum changed his plan. He sent out one swordsman and one fist. Fighter, from my point of view, what they were both trying to do with a sword and a fist was to take down the disciple of the old man effectively. It seemed like the commander didn't like giving the leader position to all three of us. Hey Ak. Chum said he didn't like this, but then snorted. Guess he trusted this guy. Start. The confrontation began with Gu Sang. Wum's shout. As soon as the match started, the one called Kong Chai. Ji came with fists blazing and moved behind Song Wu. Hyun. The one with the sword, Du Kyung, stood in front. It seemed like the main attacker would be the swordsman, and the other would be the diversion. Boom. Du Kyung swung the sword as if deliberately trying to threaten his opponent, though it was then. Papak. Song Wu. Hyun ran to the swordsman, making him aim the sword at his chest to widen the distance, but the twin didn't avoid it. What are you doing? Song Chua. Beck was shocked. Quack. The sword pierced the upper chest of Song Wu. Hyun. But it wasn't a deep cut and no one could tell if it was because the swordsman didn't wield it correctly, he was too anxious to do it, or if Song Wu. Hyun's muscles were too thick. Pack. The younger twin grabbed Du Kyung's arm. You. The moment he was about to pull out the sword to escape, Song Wu. Hyun hit him. Bang. 
Even Kong Chai.ji was captivated by this unexpected attack, then Song Wu.hyun released the grip. You. Kong Chai.ji's face was pale. Du Kyung's face was caved in, and so much blood was dripping that it covered his face. Thud. The swordsman soon fell to the floor. This was an absurd situation to be in, and I heard at the same time. You shouldn't let him starve. Song Wu.hyun passed the test with just one headbutt. Kong Chai.ji, who was afraid of being headbutt, declared his surrender that I wouldn't want it either. If the forehead was caved in, who would want to fight? Everyone looked at him with fearful eyes. Those who couldn't express that fear were at least wide-eyed. Quahahaha. Only Heiak.chun was happy with this. The test ended, but it resulted in confusion for everyone. As soon as the position test was completed, the leaders of each group who were watching from behind rushed toward us. Elder. I congratulate you. You have wonderfully taught your disciples. Looking at this, I could see how much of a role he had in the cult. Everyone did it for this old man, whether it be a greeting or praise. If he could do this without collecting power on his side, what would be his position if he had power or force behind him? Congratulations, Elder. The bloody hand which, Han Bika, came over. She kept a neutral expression, and Heiak. Chun smiled triumphantly. He he he. You did well with your disciple too. This crazy old man. Damn Yewa was a disciple who failed to become a leader, and he was scratching on their wounds. This is the first time I learned that an elder who is an expert in close combat is also skilled with swords. This made him raise his eyebrow. It was because he knew where she was going with this. It doesn't seem like it's your sword technique. Her eyes were saying that. No one questioned the sword technique, but she was sure that this wasn't a technique made by Hei Ak. Chun. Did losing a bet make her do this? Even if she felt bad, there was nothing she could do to change the result, Hei Ak. Chun then said. Bloody hand witch, you seem to have poor eyes. Ah. Uh. I mean, how could you not recognize the sword technique of the South Heavenly Swordsman? It wasn't just her, but everyone else around him became shocked at this revelation. Chapter 39 Selection Ceremony 1. You are listening at NovelFull.audio I, too, was shocked by Heiak. Chun's bold words. I never expected that the true origin of the sword technique would actually be revealed. To be honest, I thought that this man would hide it, considering how much the man prided in himself. So why would he reveal it? What was certain was this wasn't his usual course of action. South Heavenly Swordsman The South Heavenly Swordsman Whispers and questions rose from around us. Seeing that the leaders and others were this shocked, the prestige of the swordsman's name was still there despite fifteen years having passed. Everyone was also not just looking at Heiak. Chun but was also looking at me. A woman in white, who seemed to be a disciple of the bloody hand which, kept looking at my sword and me. What is with her? However, with just her eyes exposed through the mask, I felt like I knew her. Her round eyes, long eyelashes, and a similar feeling to the red that eyed woman. No, dot who is it? Who is she? Miss Ha Yun. Seems like it's her. Or Beck Ryan. Ha, I should say. What? She's that one. Even Short Sword seemed shocked. Well, the reason was simple, really. It was because the woman's body now looked slender. Aren't you guessing it wrong? Short Sword couldn't accept it. Well, she had been quite chubby in the past, after all. It felt like she had undergone a body reconstruction in just six months. So she lost all that weight. Dot would she admit that she had lost the weight if it were really her? Well, the woman did avoid my eyes afterward, right? Seeing how embarrassed she was, I probably guessed correctly. She turned her head towards a distant mountain to avoid my gaze. I was left wondering what exactly happened. Did she lose weight from the plant I brought back? As I continued to muse, Han Bika spoke. 
Elder. That. What do you mean? South Heavenly Swordsman. Her voice was trembling slightly, betraying the fact that she was also shocked. I was also curious about how the old man would respond, considering everything was revealed like this. Would he try to say that he got a treasure after defeating the South Heavenly Swordsman? With his personality, that kind of statement would make sense. You don't get it despite me telling you. Seriously, is there anyone else here who dealt with that man aside from me? At his words, Han Bika went silent. This meant that no one else could get close to the South Heavenly Swordsman. He <laughs> he. She looked at me after she was rendered silent. Regardless of whether I recognize it or not, why did the Elder's Disciple learn the sword technique of that man? She was bringing him back to the original topic. She was asking for a clear answer. The South Heavenly Swordsman wasn't just a normal man. He is a well-known and influential person. This is why the Elder will have to explain. She wasn't taking things lying down. Focusing on the fact that the South Heavenly Swordsman is a member of the Forces of Justice, she was cornering Hei Ak. Chun. That was until he pulled something out of his sleeves. Ah, the book with that name on it. It was taken back from me, but I didn't think he would have it on him. Did he plan this? The Xing Ming Technique. This is a martial arts book written by that man. Why does the elder have it? Han Bika couldn't take her eyes off the book. It was the same with others. In particular, those who used swords as their weapon would consider this book a treasure. A book of martial arts written by the South Heavenly Swordsman, who was famed for his sword techniques. Anyone would want it. The South Heavenly Swordsman is dead. Everyone was surprised to hear that such a man was already dead. The surprise was partly because a man of such stature's whereabouts had been unknown for fifteen years. Hei Ak. Chun seemed to be trying to imply that he defeated the man to get this, this man. The South Heavenly Iron Sword was angry. He felt like his former owner's name and honor were being tarnished, and I, too, felt bad for him. That man is dead. Then did the elder. Bloody hand which looked at Hei Ak. Chun with shocked eyes. But his reaction was different from what I expected. Ha! Huh. If that was the case, that long-awaited dream of mine would have come true, but no, someone else did it before I could. Surprisingly, Hei Ak. Chun spoke the truth, he could have lied, but he chose to be honest. Who could do that? Ha! Huh. Everyone was curious after hearing Hei Ak Chun's words. This was a natural reaction considering that someone managed to kill a famous swordsman who had been touted as one of the future members of the Eight Great Warriors of the Land. Ignoring their reaction, he continued. This is a book left behind by the South Heavenly Swordsman. This was what he meant. He had already died, so it wouldn't count as stealing. The bloody hand which then asked. Did this mean you found this along with his remains? Yes. How could you do such a thing? This calls for congratulations, Elder. At his honest response, the others began to speak out. Their words implied that the discovery of a book that can be deemed a treasure for any swordsman by a member of their cult was something to be celebrated. What is that supposed to mean? Hei Ak. Chun asked. Everyone who cheered for him went silent at his first question. One of them tried to explain while the others all were silent. I did it isn't that, not being able to compete with him and him losing to someone else isn't something to be celebrated. Seeing that, those trying to speak all went silent, as expected of Hei Ak. Chun. I couldn't fight him again after that. This isn't something you people can celebrate. Hei Ak. Chun spoke with an angry expression while holding the book. This sword technique isn't completed. This was true. Strictly speaking, thanks to him stealing it, I was able to complete the technique. I who fought the most with him know this better than anyone. Han Bika frowned. Do you mean it? Hei Ak. Chun smiled. This book was passed on to this guy through all the loopholes. Tack. 
Hayak. Chun placed his hand on my shoulders. This guy can be called a common point between myself and the South Heavenly Swordsman. Ha! I was shocked. The result was that Hayak. Chun didn't come across as the successor of the South Heavenly Swordsman's legacy. Instead, he became someone who supplemented and passed on his rival's techniques to me. Right. For real, he is amazing. Even Short Sword admired this. In a sense, the old man was amazing. As a result, no one could raise objections about it anymore. At least not within the cult. Hey Ak. Chun was a clever old man. Still, this is good even Iron Sword, who should be angry, was fine. What was good about this, actually, if it wasn't for him, the life and knowledge of my former owner would have ended. Moreover, the man himself said that you would be considered as an heir to my former owner. When I heard his words, it felt right. Since Hei Ak. Chun was in possession of the book, he could have professed it as his own technique. Instead, he left a mark that told the people that his rival's legacy continued to live on. Looking at this, I realized how much this old man valued his rival that I am grateful for that. South Heavenly Iron Sword was happy that his former owner wouldn't be forgotten. Bloody Hand Witch, Han Bika, her followers, and the leaders of each group went to the main hall. It was because there was a selection ceremony that still needed to be done. Before leaving, that woman sent me a message. The bet was won by the young master. Let's meet in the same vacant lot from last time at midnight tonight. She surrendered. Well, strictly speaking, Dam Yewa did get the position that she had made a bet for, but since my own achievements were higher, this made any spar between us meaningless. The difference between her and my skills was apparent, what do you want to be taught? I don't have high expectations. I didn't think she would teach me anything useful. She, too, wouldn't have expected to lose the bet, so she would probably teach me some insignificant technique. I was more curious about Beck Ryan. Ha. She had a strange look when she looked at me earlier, maybe she didn't think you'd notice. That could be the case. But, teacher. Why are you going to the main hall? On our way there, Song Chua. Beck asked a question, unable to hold his curiosity. But Hei Ak. Chun smiled and said, Now is the time. Ah. Uh, to bring in useful ones. He <laughs> he. Yeah, okay. I think I get why. He said he would raise us three. In the case of the current blood cult, there already were factions on each side, and each side needed talent. And this was a matter of how many talents were secured by which side. Whisper. When we arrived at the hall, it was noisy. In addition to the commander, the leaders and trainees were also there. Memories prior to my return came back to me. Ah. The list of trainees was attached to a wide wooden board in front of the yard. The names on the list were sorted by the classes they qualified for. Before my return to this time, I had been given a task already as a member of the Blood Wolf. While low.rank warriors were evenly distributed, the middle.rank warriors and the others were given out through preference. I remembered how fiercely the people fought for better talent. At that time, I wasn't there, but I knew about one person who the factions fought extremely over, who? Cho Sung.1, the spy from the Beggar's Union. He eventually went as a subordinate to the first Blood Star. Everyone thought he would go under one of the four venerable dignitaries, but his choice surprised everyone. But it was the wrong choice. Right. Just half a year from now, an order was issued to eliminate him, which led to his death. I in the end, he is destined to die. Right. What if I changed his fate? The Six Blood Valley was uncovered thanks to Cho Sung.1 and a few other spies. But I wondered how much it would change if I changed the place this man ended up going to. For example, what if I revealed his identity right away? The selection ceremony will occur tomorrow. Gu Sang. Wung spoke in a loud voice. Ten other commanders from other locations stood in front of the board. They couldn't take their eyes off of it. Hei Ak. Chun then stepped up to the selection board. 
When he went there, everyone became confused. Elder. Why? They didn't seem to expect that Hayak. Chun would participate in the selection. After all, he was someone who had never shown such an interest before. One of the commanders asked. Is the elder also participating in the selection? Ha! Huh. I have no commander below me, so I will choose for myself. Their faces darkened. They didn't think this would happen. Even the bloody hand which seemed shocked. Quack. Everyone was puzzled at this unforeseen situation, as Hayak. Chun said. Does this start from the middle. Ranked warriors or the upper. Ranked warriors? From the middle rank. Is that so? Then, that works. Any complaints for me? At Hayak. Chun's words, the commanders all bit their lips. They couldn't say no to this man. Who would have the guts to say no to such a monster? I can choose then. Yes. Hayak. Chun pointed his finger at the place where the list was hanging from. It was a list of middle. Rank warriors. A total of 37 names. The list was arranged from top to bottom in order of outstanding qualities. Each faction was holding their breath and waited for Hayak. Chun to stop. They were worried that he might choose talented ones before them. His finger then continued to move down. Phew. And a couple sighed in relief, but. I will take everyone from the top down to here. Everyone became puzzled at Hayak. Chun's words, but the old man clearly didn't care as he said. In fairness, there are only ten other people left, so whether you talk it out or whatever you do, take them one by one. Chapter 40 Selection Ceremony, 2, You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Everyone there was at a loss for words. The implicit rule of the selection process was to distribute talent in equal numbers to each other. However, they were shocked at the sight of Hay Ak. Hun trying to gulp down 27 people with just a few words by excluding the bottom 10. Pohaha. As expected of the old man. Short Sword laughed. Ha! Even if he wanted to take people in, I predicted it would only be four or five, but Hei Ak. Chun walked up and chose 27 people. However, the problem was that while the people there were afraid to question him, there were people under the other elders and under the seventh blood star behind him. Elder. Keenly aware of this, Gu Sang. Wung intervened. The other commanders came as representatives of the seventh blood star and other people. If the elder took all the top talents, it would not be fair for, you are speaking about equity. Hayak. Chun asked a question as if he could not understand it. Gu Sang. Wung was a bit flustered despite his apparent desire to help the other parties there. Shu. Some of the people who had trusted in Gu Sang. Wung's intervention came forward. They were commanders under the influence of other people of a similar stature as Hayak. Chun. Elder. I am Commander Hak Jong. Jiam under Elder Li Jun. The commander who served under Elder Li Jun opened his mouth first. The reason why he mentioned his elder's name alongside his role was clearly to emphasize its effects. So. Hei Ak. Chun asked as if he didn't really care. The commander hesitated before trying to regain his confidence again. He then said, Elder, I will speak honestly. In the selection ceremony, all of us were sent to select talented people on behalf of our superiors. Until now, we have evenly organized the talents through fair consultations, but if the elder monopolizes too many of such talented ones, my elder as well as the other commander's superiors might not be happy about it. Right. Elder. Please do consider. The other commanders also stepped forward. In other words, they were attending as proxies for other high-ranking officials of the cult. It was an indirect warning that the people behind them would not take this lightly. Oh. Look at them coming out strong. It is because their own performances are at stake. If they cannot secure talent, their own group will be broken. This was why they were coming out strong right now. They were making their case using the people behind them, so how would the old man respond? Ha! Huh. 
what do you mean? Ah. Uh, are you saying I should feel sorry for you all and make concessions? Ha. Huh. If you want to act like this, then go ahead and tell them. Those who feel that this was unfair can come directly to me and talk. How does that sound? Of course, he didn't back down. On the contrary, as Hei Ak Dot Chun replied in anger, everyone became more flustered. Do you really think I would be scared of those behind you? Funny bastards. What? Uh, elder, how can you, shut your mouths? Uh. Hak Jong Dot Jiam, was it? If you act out one more time, I'll rip your hair out of your head, dot dot. Hei Ak Dot Chun pretended to pull on the hair with his hands. The commander who had been speaking until then fell silent, man, the old man knows how to shock people. I agree with Short Sword. Actually, I thought that Hei Ak Dot Chun would take a step back, considering how many commanders were gathered here. But no, he was pressuring them to back out instead. If he was a rational being, he would have simply appeared strong. However, the fact that they called him the ghastly monster probably strengthened that perception more. Thankfully, no one said anything, only that crazy old man can do something like this. Right. Instead, seeing this, I came to understand what having power felt like. How proud can one be of the strength they gained through their own effort? Is there anything more to say? No one protested. They actually thought Hei Ak Dot Chun would rip their hair out, so they stayed silent. Then you lot can discuss how to divide the remaining ten. Elder. But when everyone was forced to silence, one person came out. The person who crossed over the leaders and commanders was Han Bika. Observing the situation, she said. You are taking too many, Elder. The commanders who felt suffocated by the old man's words were sighing in relief at her appearance. It was because she was the only one who could deal with this old man. You will come out now. Elder. It seems like there are many talented people under you. Many. What do you mean, many, dot? Didn't the elder say it is cumbersome to have people during the seven stars meeting? You declared that you would be independent, and if you suddenly take so many people, the distribution will not be FAI, you talk well. What? I am trying to raise a group this time. At his words, everyone's eyes widened. Even Han Bika couldn't control her expression. Her eyes were shaking as she, too, was surprised at this unexpected news, raising a group. Right. Even before my regression, Hei Ak Dot Chun had always moved alone. He was the only one who didn't have his own group despite being in the position of an elder. He, who had been alone, declared that he would raise a group in front of the commanders of other factions that is it so shocking. Because the power balance of the blood cult will be shaken up in the future. Until now, except for Hei Ak Dot Chun, the ten other high dot ranking officials were in balance. But now, this could change the balance of power. I turned my head to the front of the main hall. Bek Ryong Dot Ha was visibly surprised. Hei Ak Dot Chun was called the Sleeping Dragon. So it must be shocking to her that this man was aiming for the position of the cult leader. In the future, she would probably try to persuade him even more. It will be tiring. It will be. Instead, I saw this as an opportunity. If this made her more anxious, things would move quickly over on that side, that side. That fox. Right. The powerless man decided to increase his power. This fact will become known to the heads of every faction. Once that was the case, even the red-eyed woman would move, you mean to come and convince the old man? Yes. Neither Hei Ak Dot Chun nor I know of the current balance of power. If the red-eyed woman moves, only then will the clear picture be revealed and by that, you mean. Right, you're a smart child, short sword, now you realized it. Iron Sword asked from his position at my back. It was better to weigh both sides than to stand on one side from the start. If you do it properly, you can get something from both sides. 
the standards and conditions for choosing a side would also become more advantageous that I don't know what Wowie and Short Sword are talking about, just stay still then. Um. Well, Iron Sword still could not defeat Short Sword when it came to words. Han Bika, in her shock, then said. The fact that the Elder is raising a group, is quite shocking. What is so surprising? In any case, it is no longer fair to call what I claimed as too many, right? That. Anyway, there are no members under me, so I tried to select the good ones, and I even left kids for you people too, he was saying that it was a kind of concession to them. I wondered what direction they would have to this. Han Bika, who was staring at him, then bowed. I understand. The other people's expressions visibly darkened when she, their only hope, stepped back. But no one could argue it. As Hei Ak. Chun declared, if he was to raise a group, he would need warriors under him. Ultimately, they had to hide their eyes and distribute the ten given to them. And the quality of the remaining ten cannot be compared to the top ones on the list. Chua. Beck, yes, take care of the kids. Yes. At Hayak. Chun's command, Song Chua. Beck became visibly excited and called for the selected trainees who were waiting. Well, he must be glad to do something. Come on, everyone, line up here. They were assigned positions as they stood in front of Song Chua. Beck with an expression that clearly said they lacked understanding of what just happened. The situation was quite funny. Only one person was staying behind. When the selection was completed, Hei Ak. Chun looked at Gu Sang. Wung. Get things done quickly. Yes. I didn't know why Gu Sang. Wung had such a dark expression. Those who should be disappointed were the other commanders. Maybe I didn't see the full picture. Then, we will proceed with the ceremony for the upper dot rank candidates. The six who passed, come to the front. Yes. At his order, six people came up. The way the commanders looked at them visibly changed. They were forced to let go of the middle dot rank candidates so they couldn't let these ones slip away from their hands. As the kids stood, Gu Sang dot Wung said, then please, before the application is concluded, could the representatives give a brief speech of benefits and other things to help inform the candidates when choosing their position. Right, this was just like the past. After hearing every speech, the candidates then got to choose which faction to join. It could be said that the final results depended on the individual commander's eloquence. Come to the side. Hei Ak. Chun called me. This time it was a task he had to perform, so why was he calling me? But I went to where he called me to. As I approached, he looked down at me and said. You need to bring them all to me. Bring all the upper dot rank warriors. I knew he was greedy, but this was too much. And don't they get to choose? But the old man continued to speak. I will leave this to you. Try to convince them with your sassy mouth. You mean? I was asked to persuade all of them. No, even so, the most experienced people were speaking out there. How could I do anything? It felt like I would have to push myself this time too. It'd probably be more appropriate to say that this was going to be something difficult to do. Teacher. How can I, huh? Is this guy saying someone in my position should go out and speak to lure them in? So. You just wanted to look high and mighty. 